Welcome to Data Doctor's video, Suggestion 504, Missing Gender, Probably Male, and 508, Missing Gender, Probably Female. Suggestion 504 is caused when a profile has no gender indicated, but the first name probably could be a male, such as Billy. Suggestion 508 is the reverse. For a profile that has no gender indicated, but with a first name that could probably be female, such as Abby. The gender suggested is based on statistics. For example, here is the suggestion report for Jesse Radway, showing 504, missing gender, probably male. The gender column is blank. In the name column, click on Jesse. The next screen gives a name analysis for every Jesse on Wikitree. As you can see, they are male a very high percentage of the time. Here is the public view of Jesse's profile. It has a unisex silhouette in the top left, and the data section refers to the child of Wilmarth Radway and Lydia Hovey. The biography section has no sources but mentions that Jesse moved to Vineland, New Jersey. While it's probable that Jesse is male, we still need to find a source. On the bottom right of his profile, click on the Root Search link. Root Search offers several sites to search with. Since Family Search is free, let's start there. Note, you have to be logged into that site first. Family Search shows several records for Jesse Radway. There is a 1900 U.S. Census showing a Jesse Radway living in Vineland, New Jersey. On the far right, click on the icon. The census record tells that he was male and married to Millie. At the bottom right, there is a list of similar historical records, the first one being of a marriage. Click on that. The marriage record lists his parents as Wilmarth and Lydia Radway. His wife is Millie Wheeler, so we know the census record is for this Jesse Radway. Return to his profile and click on Edit. In the biography section, add the census information. Place the cursor after 1900 and click the citation button above. Return to the Family Search Census Record. On the bottom right, click on Document Information. Copy the citation that appears. Return to his profile and paste the citation between the ref tags. Add the marriage information and repeat the process for the Family Search source. Click on Preview to check your work. Make sure that the inline citations are properly showing in the Biography and Sources sections. Move up to the Data section and add his middle initial of B. Fill in the birth month and change the year according to the census record. Then click Uncertain. Add his birthplace listed on the marriage record, and then click Certain. Move to the Gender field and click on the green tab. At the box that opens, click on Mail. Go to the middle of the profile page and explain your changes. This is strongly recommended for all Wikitree users and is required for data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor, copy the suggestion number and name, and explain what I changed. Save your work. Return to the suggestions report and on the far right click on status. On the suggestion status page, make sure your Wikitree ID is showing. Of the five status options, choose one. In this case, corrected. 
leave a comment from the commentants or make one of your own. I chose a comment and added to it. Click the update status button. The last screen shows the status history has recorded your changes and you're done. Please note the process for 508 is similar to the shown example except the gender added is female. You are invited to like this video and even leave a comment if you wish. Also, keep up to date with new videos by subscribing to our Wikitree YouTube channel. On behalf of the Data Doctors Project, thank you for watching.